Hello, I'm Jesse Draves. I'm the inventor of the Comfort Kiss Kisser button, which uh, I'm sure some of you may know about while you're watching the video. Uh, basically, I designed a new kisser button that leaves your mouth nice and smooth and uh, doesn't pull your lip or pull whiskers on the way out. It's very simple to put on. Um, I have a lot of people ask me how they are put on, so here's a very quick installation video and uh, simple to do here. I normally typically got one of these pokers I lay around that I open it up, snap it on the string, and it will seal back up. The crack will. Another quick, simple way, if you don't have a poker, which a lot of you guys don't, you can just grab an ink pen, a big ink pen, pull the cap off, shove it in here, open it up enough, pop, snap it on the string, so on and so forth. Super simple to do. Uh, some people ask me about tying them on. I run clamps. I use these clamps. My, I shoot an MR6, a Monster, Matthews Monster MR6 on 80 pounds. Shoot about a 400 grain arrow, a 29 inch draw, and I've had no problems with the flying off at all with the clamps. Now the key to the clamps is, as you can see, we got a slit right here, and the clamps have got a slit in them. So real simply, all you do is you slide the clamp, and you can slide it up off the serving if it makes it easier, but you want them to overlap each other to be opposite. So the clip goes on um, where the slit is in the middle of the clamp. That is gonna be your strongest, best system slide it down it'll pretty much stay right where you set it on most strings it depends on your bow and your bow strand how many strands are in your string if not you can clamp a little bit to give it a little bit of traction and then you simply set it now i would recommend if you're shooting a peep sight which i do not have one in here this is a brand new chill matthews uh chill i would suggest setting your kisser button pre before you set your peep sight so Get your kisser button set first before you do your peep. Uh, typically, on a rule of thumb, you're a couple inches above the top of your D loop knot, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to pull this back. This is going to come right back to the corner of my mouth, depending on your release and your anchor. Um, I'll bring this down just a hair for myself. For, it's basically more of a comfort thing than anything. And um, we want it to be comfortable. That's why I called it the comfort kiss. So you want your hand to be right there behind your jaw. I'd recommend your nose being on the tip of your string. If this is coming back to here and it's not wanting to come back in the corner of your mouth, then your draw length's probably too long. Or if it's way up here and you're not extending your shoulder forward, then your bow's probably too short. This is a nice little relaxed shoulder. Right in the corner of your mouth nose on the strings what I typically recommend depending on your face structure but if you got your kisser button in the corner of your mouth nose on the tip of your string and then your peep sight you got three great anchor points not counting your hand behind your face so typically run the slit away from your face it shouldn't matter because it does seal up but there again run it away take your knock and pliers clamp clamp it a couple different times and rotate it and that way it gets an even smash all the way around and that is the simplicity of a Comfort Kiss installed. These are available in nine different colors. So whatever color you're looking for, I can match your bow, whether it's pink, purple, red, clear, you name it, I've probably got it. So give me a call or uh, get in touch with your local dealer. If they're not carrying them, suggest that they do and uh, get one installed today. Thank you.